Yeah, so let's get into it. Hello, everyone. My name is Justin Phillips, uh, and it's great to have you on today's webinar. I want to thank you for being here and having the opportunity to gain some of the extraordinary wisdom from our very special guest, Yoss Sawyer, aka, aka the Lifestyle Medicine Man. And uh, so my wife and I, Nicole Dennis, and my name is Justin Phillips. We live in beautiful Bribey Island in Queensland, Australia. Uh, for those of you that don't know us, and we're very passionate about empowering people with health and happiness and prosperity and sharing the extraordinary life experiences and lessons that we've learned and uh, we feel can help others. And a lot of that uh, comes down to connecting people with the right people. And Yost is just one of those very special people that we've had the, the blessing to meet in our life. Um, and so we want to share some of that wisdom. Before we get started, I'm just going to ask you for your cooperation. Please don't recall, uh, record the call uh, and not to share it to mass media and social media sites and uh, Facebook, Twitter, etc. We are recording the webinar and there will be links that will be posted. So you will be able to see a recording and share it with friends. We just ask that it's not done on mass big public sites and things like that. Um, because uh, unfortunately we live in a world where we do need to be a little bit careful about what we say and, and getting the message to the right people is really important. Uh, I have muted you all to keep the background noise to a minimum. This is a webinar format, not our normal Zoom format. So some of you will be finding that the, the, the uh, format is a little bit different. We don't have the gallery view available. Um, at the end, we will uh, open it up to questions and answers. Um, so you will be able to ask questions and answers. Uh, there's a little uh, icon down the bottom, which isn't normally there in a normal Zoom. So click on that and you can post those questions uh, in the chat box and in the Q&A throughout the call so we can cover certain areas that we need to. I'm guessing that many of you here on the call today, you are looking for an improvement in your health uh, and your wellness for you or your loved ones. And uh, we really hope we can empower you on your healing journey with some great information on this call. And before I introduce our very special guest today, I wanna share a little bit about myself as many of you don't know my background. Uh, I've had 25 years in the health and wellness industry, everything from paramedics to remedial therapy to personal training and gyms and being as a practitioner in nutrition and kinesiology, owning health food shops, natural therapies clinics, and uh, working health coaching and working in integrated medical clinics. And I've had some really big health challenges myself, uh, some of which Yost has helped me with. Uh, I had 20 years of stealth infections and an autoimmune disease myself, and my wife had 25 years of serious fatigue issues. And thankfully, uh, with the culmination of a lot of the information that we, we learned over the years and thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars we spent on our health, we overcame these around six to seven years ago, uh, and we've had extraordinary health since then and, and really having a fantastic time in life. And we've always been on the lookout for great technologies and treatments and therapists to share with others. And that's what we're doing today. Uh, we Thankfully, we get to work from home now full-time as redox experts, and we absolutely love helping people all over the globe with a holistic approach based on this amazing technology of redox signaling molecules. And today I have the privilege of sharing the amazing Jost Sawyer with you all. And Jost was born in Germany in 1958, is a bachelor in, in uh, health science and acupuncture and diplomas in oriental massage and structural balancing, sports injury management and so forth. He began working as a therapist in 1991. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting Jost at uh, my college where I studied at the Australian College of Natural Therapists, where Jost was a supervisor of the uh, traditional Chinese medicine clinic there. And he qualified as a doctor of Chinese medicine, lectured in Chinese uh, medicine for 10 years. Uh, um, Yost has founded and operated health centers and worked internationally with celebrity clients all over the world. Uh, his health and fitness has always been a major passion. You know, Yost just has to, you know, do a little bit of his Kung Fu and you'll see like how amazing vital he is. <laughs> and his background includes things like competitive skiing at a national level, bodybuilding, triathlon, Ironman training and so forth. But when he discovered Kung Fu and Tai Chi, he really realized that fitness is only a part of the equation and vitality is the other part. And this led to decades of more research into how to live and how to use nutritional supplements and herbal, herbs and so forth with an ideal diet, therapeutic exercise, weightlifting, martial arts, meditation, Tai Chi, yoga, and the, the traditional Chinese medicine body clock. So it's when he added the 24 hour movement of Qi through the body, which is a kind of a Chinese medicine version of the body clock, um, how our energy works in the body. And that really connects our day-to-day -day activities to the natural cycles. He developed the Qi cycle lifestyle. And this is the ultimate in lifestyle medicine. He founded on thousands of years of Chinese medicine with over 30 years of just academic research and practical observations from living it himself. 
He's a very dynamic, inspiring speaker. He's renowned for delivering inventive and entertaining presentations and workshops on lifestyle medicine. And uh, as an ex-addict himself, lifestyle medicine for addiction, he's been able to really impact incredible people's lives. Uh, I remember la um, last time I, I was uh, hanging out with Yost a lot, you were running the only drug rehabilitation clinic, uh, traditional Chinese medicine drug rehabilitation clinic in the Southern Hemisphere. So he's very, very innovative. Uh, he's got a high media profile. He's a regular contributor to health and lifestyle magazines. He's also an author of some incredible books, uh, higher than higher than high, sorry, higher and higher drug repair that works, the perfect day plan, and uh, the Rebel's Guide to Recovery and Clock One, Clock On to Health as well, and even has some DVDs. Uh, which he humbly says has got some bad kung fu on it, but uh, but I think he's amazing. So it's my great privilege to introduce Yoss Sawyer to you all today. Thank you, Yoss, for coming on the call. Thank you, Justin. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I so, punched your eyes up nicely. Yeah. Something about me. You're amazing, mate. You're amazing, and uh, it was great. Nicole caught up with you recently, and um, from your your esoteric style acupuncture. She, she felt enormously better. She had a massive boost in chi and, and energy. So super grateful for everything you do. So, um, so obviously you're an amazing expert in health and, and vitality. So can you please tell us of your experience when you've used the Redox? What did Redox, how, what did you feel um, and, and your chi and energy levels when you use Redox for yourself? Oh yes, I mean Redox obviously stands out from all the other products. So, I've been experimenting, especially self-experimenting with supplements, uh, Chinese herbs for over 30 years. So I learned it obviously, but I wanted to also experiment with it to really see, push the envelope, push the boundary, see what it can do, and then explore what the real benefit is. So I've ex I worked with every supplement out there and in, in multiple doses, obviously. And so I've got a, personal understanding of what each of the products do. So when I first got introduced to um, ASEA, that was back in 2013, I think, first time. And in those days, it was obviously illegal to, to get into the country and um, which resonated very well with my personality. So I ordered cartons and cartons and my office, my clinic in, in Penning was packed in cartons. <clears throat> and then we um, experimented with it to see what really works and how it works. And because I had running a drug rehab at the same time, I had clients very open to dealing with substances in the first place anyway. So when I asked them to put on a trial of something to take to see what it's going to do, everyone says, yes, I'll call yeah. So it got very interesting from the start because it revealed immediately to me that this is totally different to anything I was working with. While I was doing um, a lot of the Chinese herbs with ashwagandha, astragalus, remania, um, uh, all the ginsengs, <clears throat> then all the antioxidants and um, cordyceps anemsis, all the medicinal mushrooms. So I had a whole range of experience with how they acted on a, a seriously depleted organism. Because I must always uh, tell people that it has been enormously beneficial to have worked with the extreme end of the scale of the people. So the people I worked with were primarily all professionals, not the kind of um, addict you would perceive to be an addict because they were lawyers, accountants, all kind of people from all walks of life. Yeah. And just had an enormous habit and an extreme lifestyle. And the lifestyle was on the go all the time. And in order to, to satisfy the need to keep pushing the envelope, they used substances and eventually it turned into addiction. But a lot of them took the substances to such an extent that it was very difficult to return to point of health. They basically have burned the candle, not on both ends, just in the middle also. It was all basically gone. Yeah. And they had no choice other than to look at alternatives because even taking the substance was not enough to give them some kind of vitality. Mm. So then having, having seen how quick um, people relate to Chinese herbs and medicinal mushrooms and, 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 uh, and so on, I've seen the immediate impact. So when this big shipment of ASEA came into my office illegally, 
at, at my, at, uh, acquired, which as I said before, also. <clears throat> so then I, I, I added that to the treatment and uh, it immediately spiked in terms of effectiveness. <clears throat> so what already was powerful now took on to a new level. And then I started to reduce some of the other substances and in order to enhance ASEA, and I saw once again um, um, results. So then I obviously looked into, okay, what's going on here? What, where's the Chinese medicine here? Because when you dissect that water that's in there, there's nothing in there. So with all the other substances that I used, um, at least there was like four grams of ashwagandha, three grams of echinacea, whatever. It had something in there, but in there, there was nothing there. So obviously that was a bit of a hard one to take in the beginning. And then I experimented myself with it to the depths and I, I realized it does work. It's just no doubt about it. But because of my sensitivity to the uh, meridian system, because I am a practitioner of the Kung Fu and have been doing for 35 years, so I practice daily for around four to five hours every day. So I have developed a sensitivity to what the body is doing. And in order to develop power and strength, you need to be really in tune with your body because that's what Kung Fu training uh, leads to. So therefore I, I am a perfect observation material in that regard because I can actually sense when, as soon as I take one little thing, I can actually sense where it, goes and what it does and where it operates and what, and what meridian it activates. Uh, with, with the ASEA, I found immediately it works via spleen and lung. So this, is, this actually is in line with what um, the re science research is saying, that it's working on the mitochondria, that it's an antioxidant, etc. So um, because in Chinese medicine, the organ that's the closest to the mitochondria is in fact the spleen. So when we talk about mitochondrial deficiencies, chronic fatigue syndrome, etc., we actually talk about spleen tree deficiency. So when we talk about enhancing the mitochondria in Chinese medicine, you would say you work to enhance spleen and lung. So because spleen and lung in that regard uh, have also an immune function, you not only enhance energy production, but you also uh, uh, build the ability to, to fight off invaders, <clears throat> even to the point where you actually enhance recovery, because obviously that's where the spleen is responsible for the productions of muscles. Good spleen means strong, healthy muscles, and um, endurance means good lung. So by uh, what I noticed with the ASEA is it enhances the spleen function, so it actually recovery uh, immediately. Was, it was quite significant how it improved. So uh, because due to my personal ex quite intense exposure to exercise on a daily basis, I'm very used to, um, to soreness and pain. So for me to actually um, discover recovery faster than what the ordinary means to is obviously very welcomed. And, but most importantly, I recognize it immediately. <clears throat> so for me, as, uh, as exposed to the exercise to that uh, extent, I see it's essential for the recovery uh, process. But from a chi perspective, for me, this is far more interesting because um, before I go into my Tai Chi session or Kung Fu training, I, if I take ASEA, I am able to sink deeper into what we call the dantian, the kidney root, because the power that we generate in Kung Fu comes from within the body. We don't use muscles, we use internal power. <clears throat> of course, it, you develop strong muscles, but the focus is on the internal pathways. So in Tai Chi in particular, the focus is always to deeply sink into the body we call it sinking. So we take the whole energy and go oh, sink till there's nothing in the head. The idea is not to think so that everything is going into the body. <clears throat> the body knows what it's doing. The body has got all the abilities to repair itself and to ward off. The body has got an intelligence that we can't comprehend. 
In Chinese medicine, we call the body the direct connection to Tao or the Tao. So if we surrender to the body, we discover healing. We discover power. We discover possibilities to enhance our bodily function that otherwise is not possible. In order to sink deeply in, of course, we need to regulate the breathing. When you, for example, ordinary thinking, ordinary people or stressed mundane reality indicates a breathing level of the upper realm. So the breathing apparatus is actually from right from the mouth to the sacrum. So you've got a whole spectrum. But most people or the ordinary consciousness operates in the upper realm of breathing. So it means you, you breathe very fast and shallow. So you do 30 breaths a minute. But if you do effective breathing, you're going all the way to the sacrum with every in-breath, keep it there and bring it back up again. So with proper training, you will do three breaths a minute. So if you do three breaths a minute and or two breaths or something in that level, you activate bodily functions and activate healing that otherwise is not possible. So of course you can do that in meditation while sitting, but in the Kung Fu, in the Tai Chi, we do that while we move the body and we put the body in stressful situations like on one leg, jump up, do punch kicks, etc., spin kicks, etc. So while we do that, we focus on keeping the breath very slow, deep, very slow, deep. So that is what the skill in Tai Chi and in Kung Fu is all about. Because if you maintain that breath, you are in charge of every situation you ward off, you have the power because the power is deeply in the sacrum. So when I took Asiya, I noticed straight away that action of going into stressful bodily situations like a spin kick or jumping up and do a punch, I am able that the Asiya assists me to keep breathing deep and it assists me of going slow in the breath so while I was going hardcore and experimenting very heavily, physically, the ASEA assisted me in this process. So that means while I was doing that, I could then feel the chi moving to every part of the body. So that means the, it was moving the chi to, to the extremities, to the periphery, such as the fingertips, such as the arm. So what happens is the more deeper I'm breathing, the more I was assisted with the ASEA the more my body started to fill with chi, the more my muscles grew, the more my organs developed, the more blood was pushed to the extremities, the healthier and fitter I became. Mm. So, so Tai Chi, Kung Fu, is, uh, is a practice of health because we're learning the, to move the body in conjunction with the breathing. But it's very hard to attain. And obviously that's where supplements come in and that's where that's what i noticed you actually accelerate the process with doing a seer and this is in line exactly what, what all the um uh youtubes i've seen about the professional bike riders runners because they obviously have developed a very specific breathing technique in order to go long term running as a marathon runner you can't use ordinary breathing you can't use ordinary thinking you would be you would run three kilometers and be out of the race so you need to understand how to use your mind to transcend deeply into the lower parts and stay there and keep this aspect activated because that gives you the vitality after 10 kilometers after 20 kilometers after 30 kilometers so if you're only here you exhaust it very quickly so that's why when shallow breathing and operating in the upper realm accelerates aging, which is why people would do Kung Fu training, Tai Chi training and, and know how to breathe, yogis, etc. They, they slow down the aging. And I noted that now because I'm now, uh, I'm now in my 60s and I, I noted how it's now benefiting my life. So obviously this is where the anti-aging uh, aspect comes into it because I see assist that process so because of my sensitivity of what the body is doing through my training and my skills 
I can sense what the supplement is doing. And that's what I noticed with, with Asia. Immediately, whoa, it's helping me with this. It's not doing much in terms of doing kidney building. You see, this is where it's, it's so tricky because you can't dissect what's in Asia. You can't actually say, okay, the ingredients in here will do this, the ingredients will do that. For example, if you look at an Empress formula or well-being or those, uh, those they have 250 milligrams of uh, uh, ashwagandha, Remania. So you can say, okay, because of that combination, it's doing the action of a kidney like that. So you can't actually dissect ASEA to say, okay, the ingredients of ASEA will act on this and will do this and will do that. <clears throat> that's why it's a controversial supplement. And obviously everything that's controversial, I love in the first place anyway, <laughs> because that means it doesn't go by the book, it doesn't go by the norm and uh, it's hidden. It's a mystery. Yeah, that's awesome because that is exactly how the body wants us to operate in the mystery because in there is opportunities for change that otherwise wouldn't be possible. So the way, from my perspective, how I see it works is it, has, it helps the body to go into this deep breathing aspect. So you actually move the body into the lower parts and you've got that slow wave of deep breathing and up. So you mean that then enhances the bodily functions. So which is why when you take Arcea with other supplements, it will enhance other supplements, which is why when you live a healthy life, Arcea will improve your life. Yeah. So, um, uh, so this is where the healthier you live, the more Arcea will work on you. This is why I'm so in love with this thing. You can't corrupt it. It's not something that you can corrupt. It's not something that um, um, like cocaine, I can take one gram of cocaine, I'm gonna feel awesome for all, all day. I don't have to do anything about it. <laughs> it, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter what I eat. I don't have to first have health food and take porridge before the in order for the cocaine to work. Yeah. Cocaine will always work. So yeah. you can live absolutely wrong lifestyle, you still feel good on cocaine. Yeah. So, um, so a CS on the exact other end of the scale, yeah. it will enhance that what the drugs are trying to do because drugs take you into the lower parts. Drugs do exactly the same as the cheat training does. That's why people love drugs. Like good cocaine immediately changes the breathing to deep breathing patterns. Mm. Like morphines, like the heroin immediately goes deep, which is why when you take too much, it's going to stay there. <laughs> yeah, you're going to die, yeah. yeah. I saved a few people from heroin as a paramedic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't go up. <laughs> so obviously you have to come at the right time and push it up again. And then right, then it naturally goes down again, but it won't go up because the person took too much. Yeah. So all drugs operate on that level. That's Which is why when people take a drug, they go, Ah, yeah, yeah. Like, ah, everything that makes us feel good, we go. Ah, yeah. Even yawning. Yeah, sexual <laughs> arousal. Ah, yeah. Your relaxation. Ah. So what happens now? The breathing from shallow part goes into the lower part. So this is in fact what what is health. So as soon as it goes all the way down and then slowly up again, you activate bodily functions. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And those bodily functions lead to help. And this is exactly what I noticed what ASEA is doing. It's, doing. it's helping you to do this. So that means the more you move towards a lifestyle that will incorporate that, the more you get, the healthier you get, the more the ASEA will work for you. Yeah, yeah, awesome. And you go a lot into that in your books as far as like what is a lot healthy lifestyle. And yeah what to be doing at what times of the day, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. I love it how you have that very holistic approach where you're really understanding how we're living has got such a big impact with our health and well-being. Yes, yes, because obviously the idea is, the reason why the chi cycle is so profound because the chi cycle allows us to actually follow the path of yin and yang. And yin and yang is actually yang, yin. And then yang and yin. So, and that reflects the breathing. Deep, up breathe, deep breathing. 
So it's, it's so the life, the chi cycle allows you to constantly correct your breathing. Mm. And as you correct your breathing, every two hours automatically it sinks. And that means if it sinks, if the energy goes down into the sacrum, it will provide energy to your organs. Now the, or the organs have fuel. If we live a hectic yang lifestyle, go, 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 on the go, we're here. So instead of 20 breaths, 30 breaths, some people probably are almost Guinness Book of Records and do 50 breaths a minute. Yeah? Yeah. So they're doing like five centimeter 50 times. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. But the idea is to do like one meter three times a minute. Yeah, yeah. And, and to me, that, I love that too, because even as a paramedic, we used to measure our own um, ECGs, our heart um, signals and our pulse oxes and breathing. And, and we had guidelines of how many breaths you should be taking a minute or what your pulse should be taking a minute. And I'd lay down and I'd do like, you know, meditation exercises and stuff, and I'd get my breath down to one and a half breaths per minute. You know, yes, and like, okay, like according to allopathic Western medicine, that person is dying. But I'm like feeling bliss. <laughs> you know? it's, it's, it's quite interesting how you know science is useful, but it's also dangerous because it like sets up these expectations that are in a box, and life isn't like that. It's outside the box. That's yeah, what I love so much about what you do. Yeah, we just. I mean, I, I believe Western East need to work together. Yeah, the way always my views on it. Western medicine got its position, got its place. But Western medicine will never understand Chinese medicine. Mm. Chinese medicine will have its place, but are never able to understand Western medicine. There are two totally different paradigms of reality. Yeah. And the problem arises when Western science tries to explain Chinese medicine or Chinese trying to explain Western. That's not possible. Yeah. It's not possible. It's just like it's men and women. It's, <laughs> it's cold and wet. It's just like it's hot and dry whatever it's opposite polar it has nothing in common and uh, the idea is to okay western medicine is doing this part good chinese medicine is doing this and they do chi and chi you can't translate chi into western terms it's not possible as soon as you give it the name like energy etc you actually can't describe it so because in chi is also the word consciousness she translates as energy, consciousness, and information. Mm. So physics can measure the impact consciousness has on matter, mm. but can't measure consciousness. Mm. And that, that's what I love. Like there's more holistic practitioners, really high level practitioners that are starting to talk about Western medicine and much of the world has been looking at the world through a biochemical model. And we are more than biochemical beings. We are biophysical beings. And this is like quantum mechanics and you know, quantum physics. And that's where I see chi coming in and even redox is here. It's about you know, anions and ions of, of atoms. And it's this whole shift between matter and consciousness and energy. And yeah, it's a completely different paradigm. It comes from a totally different philosophical root. Yeah. yeah. Um Chinese medicine incorporates consciousness in the equation. Yeah. Western medicine can't. Yeah. Oh, um, because you can't measure consciousness. Chinese medicine understands you can't measure consciousness, therefore call this chi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you certainly can manipulate it. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you've got a reference and experience of what chi is, you, you can use the word and everyone understands. If you don't, Field chi and don't have a reference point, you can't use the word because you don't know what it is. Yeah. So this is where the more experience you have about chi, the more you actually can use the word. But it's a new word in the Western world, but I think soon it's very it will be very popular. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so so means that what is in chi is the ability to observe and to arrange according to your observation. Mm -hmm. So that's, that translates to quantum mechanics. So, so in Qi, you are observing and you are ability to, to regulate what you observe. So now it gets very, very, very powerful. That means you can actually engage 
and get in sync and align with a very specific situation by sinking in, deep in, and then you can observe it while deep in there and you can alter it according to how you perceive it. That mm. means you actually self-heal yourself. Mm. And this is why I love ASEA because ASEA assists in this process of going to transcend, to sink. It helps you to sink. So mm. ASEA would be ideal before you do meditation, take mm. some ASEA. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So before you do Tai Chi, take ASEA. So you really can see, oh, because then you can observe what, then you uh, the ability to observe and regulate at the same time. Mm. While having, like this is obviously where the Chinese are coming into, the, the more we sink into the lower part of the body, the more we are able, the more we will be linked to the universal forces that holds everything in its place. And that's gravity. So this is, um, we, I mean, we've got to be aware that we are surrounded by massive forces. Mm. And the forces are that this planet travels at 75,000 kilometers per hour and spins vertically uh, at um, horizontally at 45,000 kilometers per hour. But as you can see in your office, nothing is moving. It's still in the same position. Yeah. If you would put uh, like a, a coffee cup, a coffee cup on the dashboard of your car and then drive 20 kilometers, it would start moving. But if you put your coffee uh, cup on a table, next day it's still there. Yeah. That's one of the biggest enigmas in physics. And no one can explain exactly why that is. You can explain it from within the experience, but outside you can't actually get a formula in place, which is why Einstein trying to make it relative. So uh, the Chinese understood that, that this is where we need to align with. And this is where the power of ASEA and mitochondria action is coming into because the mitochondria is also a bit of an enigma in, in, in biology. Yeah. Yeah, because it's obviously not an organelle. It actually, um, uh, it's actually some sort of like extraterrestrial thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got its own <laughs> RNA. And, and, <laughs> you know, it's what's the origin of the mitochondria. No one really knows, yeah. yeah. And, uh, um, and, but in, in the biohacking, like Dave Asprey, for example, like the big biohackers who are trying to be who are trying to become 180 years of age, they're obviously all the focus is on the mitochondria. Yeah. Yeah. In Chinese medicine, all the focus is on spleen chi and lung, because if you get spleen chi and lung, you will have longevity because you constantly rejuvenate the body. Mm. That means as you observe the energy, you rejuvenate. That's what the Chinese master is trying to attain. While I'm exerting, I'm rejuvenating. That means the instant recovery. That means I exercise and recover at the same time. And uh, so, um, but the power development for us to move and to be able to generate power and therefore to recover quicker depends on the ability to align with those forces that have it, hold everything in its place. Mm -hmm. Like this planet traveling so fast, all the other planets traveling so fast. We are surrounded by massive forces, left, right and center all around us. Physics calls this the axiotonal grid. That's the, um, the, the, the force that can measure that holds everything in place. In Tai Chi, in Kung Fu, when we generate the power, we align with this blue grid and a bang, and suddenly release the power. Boom. And so we don't generate the power, we align and boom, it comes out. So it's yeah. like a big, big bang, that they call it Fa Jing, dong. And um, so, that depends on the ability to sink in. So that means all athletic performance is in fact the result of how the body aligns with the forces. So you allow the body to express it. When people do high jump, they allow the body to express it. Mm. So this is obviously where the ASEA comes into because ASEA assists in this process of sinking in. As ASEA assists in the process of sinking in, it allows to, to align with the forces and therefore to express it effectively. Yeah. That's how it, from my perspective as a practitioner of Chinese medicine and Tai Chi, that's from my perspective, that's how I uh, believe uh, why ASEA enhances performance, because it does. Mm. Because yeah. I've, experimented, I've experimented in depth with it yes, for eight years now and it, it, it enhances, there's no, there's no doubt about it, it just enhances. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I love that. I'm, I'm like you, I'm skeptical, I'm open-minded, but I'm still like want to experiment. And I've been off it a few times in my life. Three times I've been off it for uh, up to about a month or a couple of months, I think was the longest. And I felt the same thing. Yeah, it was like, oh, I'm lacking something. I'm missing something. I'm missing the same depth. I'm listen, missing the same stillness, that almost the depth of my consciousness, like where I can uh, relax into. And the, the information exchange. And that's exactly what chi is translated as mm. information exchange. And uh, so, so when I, when the way I look at what I know about from a science perspective, I see as translated as the information exchange between the cellular level and as information exchange is actually one of the translations of chi. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, that's awesome. I think that's probably enlightened a lot of people on the call here. And I, I know we've talked about this, but I kind of, I forgot that a little bit and it's about, yeah, that, uh, in, she is more than just energy it's, it's information exchange that energy, is yes yeah. so, i mean energy is only one aspect of the word she i mean it's like it comes down to the to the to the uh, problem what is energy <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. that's obviously now it gets very tricky and uh, um and so that, that's why um uh, the chinese got in there the word consciousness and information because now you actually got in energy yeah consciousness you have energy it's just yeah. you have energy yeah and we've seen that our our experience with people that, that use the ASEA products um some of them have had enlightenings they've, they've really changed their lifestyle some of them have um you know found had a spiritual awakening as such and yeah. they've really changed their life because they just feel it goes, it goes to the root <laughs> yeah 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 awesome it opens, up the it opens up the breathing yeah absolutely Absolutely, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely that's where the spleen lung connection is coming into. It opens up the breathing, but in that regard, it's also connected to the kidney because lung, kidney, lung, kidney. So because of the lung, kidney, because the lung takes it onto the kidney, um, in that regard, it's anti-aging because the kidney um, is responsible for aging. So your energy in the kidney, the kidney chi, um, the more you rejuvenate that on a daily basis, the slower your aging. Mm. So people would, would, would smoke many cigarettes, will, will um, take lots of drugs and will never sleep and on the go, 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 go. They're using up the kidney energy. Yeah. So if, if there are no stop drugs and, um, and stop drinking and, and smoking, no, not drinking. I mean, glass of wine is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about balance. <laughs> yeah, Chinese medicine love good wine. <laughs> I love good red wine. Yeah. yeah. And um, I have not seen the danger in, in, in it. I experimented with that in depth myself. So. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Pinot Noir, Central Ontario. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't give that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Live correctly, build your chi, and enjoy good wine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You've got to love it. Love it. Love life. And, um, but yeah, you, you're talking about, and I've seen you do that. I've seen you do that with clients. I know you've helped people in my family and so forth when they are completely burnt out uh, because they've been using these things as, as, a, a, as a crutch, as a way to lift them up. And, I, and I, that's always really stood out with your whole approach to that. Instead of just taking something away, which a person's been depending on, it's learning to replace that and strengthen them. So did you want to talk a little bit about that? Because you're a real expert in that, in taking a person from burnout to having a good constitution again, to having good enough energy to, to uh, do their life again. When, when you look at adrenal exhaustion, adrenal exhaustion is basically you're operating in the upper realm. You don't do breathe deeply anymore. Mm. You never see anyone, adrenal exhaustion was like, ah, oh, what a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> That's not adrenal exhausted, eh? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Totally. Well, you know, very good gear or the person had it. <laughs> That's some good sex, or yeah. the person is very healthy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so basically, what adrenal exhaustion is, you don't allow fuel oxygen go to to go to your organs. That's all what it is. It's ex it's all hap happening here now. So, of course, if you continue like this, it's like if you keep like short short breathing, eventually the system gonna go. That's it. So it needs to collapse. Because as soon as you collapse and go like and die, I mean, I'm, when, I, uh, when you sleep, what, what happens? You go, yeah. 
now the problem is that obviously if this is not established through skill now it leads to sleep problems now it leads to up, um, sleep apnea it leads to all kind of other problems and that's the result of, of this issue not being established so exhaustion uh, is basically where the inner system which is within deep in the body it's not getting the fuel it needs so you can have you can eat the best food you can take the best supplements and i've seen this over and over if it's not sinking in which it will not get assimilated so this is this is where um when you reach uh, adrenal exhaustion you need more than just giving the nutrient that the body requires. you first of all need to assist the body to take the nutrients to assimil assimilate the nutrients yeah so what is nutrient assimilation nutrient assimilation is nothing else the chi the breath is going all the way down to the sacrum that means it's going right to the small intestine large intestine and then in there it's connecting and it's connecting the nutrients that are in the system and now bring them into the meridian system and now the body is getting the it's getting the nutrients so if someone is exhausted and the first thing what we do with them in my clinic is obviously learn breathing techniques to go deep into the root into just deep first we teach nose breathing rather than mouth breathing slow breath through the nose then slow out breath but then keep it for, for 10 seconds before the in breath starts and then slowly breathe in via the nose so we do everything with nose breathing in tai chi we don't do mouth breathing the mouth is not designed to breathe in adrenal exhaustion people use their mouth not their nose what happens is in adrenal exhaustion people get blocked nose so now they're using they're relying more on the on the mouth but if you do mouth breathing you're not getting the, the sinking feel you're not getting the chi into the root if you don't get the chi into the root doesn't matter what nutrients you take it will not work it will not get assimilated so this is where first of all we need to assist the person to understand i need to sink i go ah oh, all the way down keep it there hold the in breath and slowly go up to the to the to the to the to the out breath and then in breath and this is where ASEA is essential in this process because ASEA naturally because it's an information exchange it's a chain reaction it is in fact now allowing this process to occur because the mitochondria is directly connected to breathing mm. and that's obviously oxygen production that's where the free radicals are so the, 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 that's where the spleen is coming into like for example with this coronavirus stuff with if the spleen is strong that means there's no phlegm accumulation in the lung yeah so that means the breath is all the way deep if the spleen is strong you breathe like a baby yeah that's what children can't get coronavirus apparently so if you breathe if you if your spleen is strong your breath will go all the way to the root and hold and then hold it there bring it back up again you automatically go into deep breathing if the spleen is strong so if the spleen is strong, that means it will transform and transport fluids. That's the action of the spleen, yep. transformation and transportation. So fluids will get transformed. That means they can't now generate phlegm that's now accumulating in the lungs. If phlegm is accumulating in the lung, which is due to the lifestyle, what happens is the breathing automatically gets shallow. It's like you've got a three meter swimming pool and you're putting mud into it eventually you only got like 30 centimeters to swim in <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so exhaustion is nothing else than swimming trying to do laps in 30 centimeter of water not possible i mean yeah. you can do it, but it's stupid yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so what you so because it's the mud is so deep that means the breathing is shallow so obviously you can't now there is no ability for the organs to be rejuvenated there's no production so nutrient assimilation is not taking place so you could eat now the best food but you you will starve yeah yeah 
so what happens now is obviously it can't be converted into into energy so now it becomes weight gain initially the flame leads to fluid uh, gain that means suddenly fluid retention in the legs suddenly the suddenly you get weight gain you don't know why then then it becomes proper weight gain so that now it turns into like weight gain like well, obesity and things like that so if you start dieting you're not you're not doing much because you still only got 30 centimeters of water to swim in and yes yeah. to get fit <clears throat> so the first thing what we're going to do is obviously we're going to clean out the phlegm yeah in order to clean out the lungs so that you've got a proper swimming pool in order to do that we need to sink the breath all the way to the ground and up that's obviously the aim of the meditation the yoga the tai chi but this is where the ASEA is coming into because ASEA due to the information exchange and the chain reaction molecular chain reaction it's doing exactly that spleen function of transformation and transportation mm. now it actually it stirs up the, the, the mud in the, in, and stirs it up and you get movement happening and now the swimming pool gets clean yeah yeah, yeah i totally get that and yeah i'm loving hearing you talking about this because to me it's just i'm just finding a lot of connections when we're teaching people to do presentations we talk to them we, we teach them about sinking into for the women the womb space or the dunti and the hara the sacral chakra and speak from the gut and just how much more impactful that is when a person speaks from that part of their body it's more authentic often they say less but people hear more yes correct so much more, more powerful more impact yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a power yeah. of chi that's kung fu boom <laughs> yeah yeah i love that what was that word you said it's that aligning with the forces the people align, align with the forces yeah so allow align with the forces then allow to express it yeah allow that to express it that's what sex is sex like um that's why sex in chinese medicine is important for health because um uh because in in the moment of sexual arousal all the meridians open up and that moment what happens now is that uh, in that moment as soon as the meridians open up the chi goes all the way to the lungs and to the kidneys and now the the body aligns with the forces that means in that moment you are able to express energy so you can be very tired and not interested as soon as you get exhausted uh, aroused sexually tiredness disappears yeah Why is that because the meridians open up and align with gravity and gravity is always present you can't exhaust gravity mm. doesn't matter how many people jump out of the plane tomorrow or jump up and down we will not be able to exhaust gravity mm. yes it's 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 infinite ever present and that's what sexual that sex is about it's infinite and present so obviously as we now get more and more and more into the alignment it gets more and more exciting and now we want to really truly express that and now we get deep, really deep really deep into the kidney and in kidneys the jing and now we go become one with the jing and that's orgasm yeah yeah and obviously that it's over here yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. so you should stay there yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Don't don't go further. Yeah, yeah that's very hard to do. Some that's where mastership is coming into. They stay there. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't go that extra millimeter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the tantra and all that sort of stuff, right? But that's why um, in after orgasm, after when sex is done, we feel good because the energy is actually truly moved through the whole body. Yeah, yeah, big flood. And that's that's so basically what it is. What sex is align with the forces and express the the the, the express the energy mm. yeah, yeah. awesome it. fantastic okay so that that's that sounds amazing uh we've had a, a question around uh nebulizing a seer obviously we don't prescribe that but yes that's a, many of us do use our, our nebulizers with the seer um and is it uh powerful because it's going directly into the lungs from a mitochondrial point of view and sinking into yourself yeah i mean I, I use my tai chi techniques for that yes yeah yeah i think you can do both and i think even just drinking it the the overall global impact of the redox that is helping you sink in yeah yeah i, I think the drink drink i see i learn how to breathe that's what i would recommend <laughs> that's awesome so simple right yes very simple 
Yeah. It's always simple. If it's complicated, it's not health. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. We've had a request to put your, your books um, in uh, and the book titles into uh, the post. So when we post this out to, to our group and, and uh, Yost, when you get your link and you're posting, um, I'm sure people want to know about your books. I think we gave a heap of these to a bunch of our executives in the team. Um, the Perfect Day Plan. Absolutely yeah. love that book. But this is a more recent book for those of you that haven't. I my last year. And that's now um, uh, picked up by by UK publisher and by um, Random House in Europe. So it's going to be all over Europe. So we only, uh, we, about that edition you got there, that's the one we did here in Australia. And that's going to be an, um, a collector's item. So because they're going to change the cover. So because I used deliberately, um, I used all the quirky characters in the book. I mean, you just, you can show maybe some of the quirky characters. Oh uh, yeah, like these guys. Yeah, yeah, I deliberately, inst instead of calling it the lung, chi, the spleen, chi, I, I wanted to bring, uh, the aim was to bring Chinese medicine back to simplicity and it's, and it's fairy tale because it was storytelling. So the book is like a storytelling about quirky characters and mm -hmm. like the lung, the large intestine is the cleaner, the lung is the knight and the, the spleen is the builder. Yeah, yeah, rule the kingdom, the heart. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's... Um, um, so, because once you understand, that's it, yeah. Once you understand the character, you will have a relationship with your organs. Because most people don't have a relationship with organs. Yeah. Organs make up reality. So, in adrenal exhaustion, you are disconnected from your organs because you're in the upper level of the breathing. You don't know your organs anymore. But your organs are what make you strong. And um, that's obviously what we need. That's why we need ASEA because it, it opens up to, to the organs, um, information exchange. So then what I would recommend is understand what each organ is doing, take ASEA, you will take the whole health level to the next level because the more you understand, the more you will participate, the more you're able to regulate because Chinese medicine is qi. Qi means consciousness. That means I am able to observe and regulate. So that means if I'm in, if, if, if I understand what each organ is doing, I'm, my consciousness will now enhance. The more I understand and participate, the healthier I will become. That's how it is. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I often say that in my health coaching, health is a choice and getting yeah. educated and getting empowered and understanding the process. You're just going to accelerate it, amplify it. And, uh, yeah. yeah, the more you know, the, the knowledge is power. The more you know, and the more you participate, the healthier you become. It's just, it's just a fact. Yeah. And yeah, what I always talk about in, in Clock On in, in particular, it's particularly with this current situation because at the moment there's so much fear in, the, in society. Yep. Uncertainties, etc. And um, as a result of that is people have all kinds of symptoms. But the idea is not to buy into the symptoms, to, to actually transcend the symptoms. The symptoms appear always on the upper part. And the idea is to, when you wake up, you work with your cleaner. That means you clean out your lung first. You clean out your garbage. That's what the cleaner is all about. If, if you've got phlegm in the lungs and you, got, you, you wake up to a symptom and you believe the symptoms, you make the symptom worse. You accumulate the phlegm in the lungs and now you open up to all kinds of other complications. So the idea is whatever symptom you have in the morning and in the book, clock on, I outline 220 different symptoms you can have, like um, shortness of breath, uh, uh, like a body ache, all kinds of stuff. The, this is relating to certain organs, so to certain character. Mm -hmm. So the idea is not to be aware of that and then sink into it through your breath. And automatically you go to the deeper part and then the cleaner, the large intestine, will clean it out. Mm. So then after when you're finished, you've got no phlegm in your lung. That means you are able to breathe all the way, all the way down. And that means you will not get symptoms. If you, the symptoms will not develop into a problem. That means you are healthy. And because you're breathing all the way down, because the cleaner cleaned it all out for you, you feel positive. And qi also relates to opportunity. So chi means you see opportunities. So if the lung is full with phlegm, it's covered in phlegm, that means from, from, from debris, whatever lifestyle, you can't see opportunities. But if you clear it all out, let the cleaner all clean it out, 
the water is clear. You see opportunities left, right, and center. Doors mm. open. Mm. So that's why every morning, do not listen to news. Do not listen to the news. Yep. Don't open the phone. Don't listen to anything because it's only fear mongering. We can't go there. We need to provide solutions. We are leaders here. We've got to show, we've got to guide people not to, not to spread fear. In order to guide people, we need to see the new. We need to see what's next because everything seemed to be going to a, to a new, to a crash. That means now we're going to, we need to see the new. We need to see something new. Yeah. We need to see where can be gone new because the world that we used to know, that's, that world doesn't seem to be the next anymore. It seems to be that world seems to be dying somehow. Yeah. And, and there's definitely something new coming forward because that virus is a mystery virus. No one knows what it is. But in the mystery, that means there's new opportunity. Mm. But in order to see that, we need clean water, not muggy water. That's mm. why we need to live correctly. So everyone here uh, who, is, who is a health professional, everyone wants to be a guide and leader of humanity. If we wake up and we clean up the lungs, we clean everything out, and we put the chi deep into the sacrum, into the kidney, we align with the forces, we suddenly see what it is. And then we hold on to it, we hold on to it. And then, bang, we move into breakfast and the stomach, the peacemaker will actually settle it all. And then we get the peace feel. We go, ah, oh, this is all, we, we feel peace. And now we go into the world by radiating calm and peace, we're neutralizing fear. But then the, the energy moves into the spleen, which is the builder. And we have seen the vision while being in the clean water in the mornings. We now can see what we need to build. And now we tell everyone what we built. And now we're spreading excitement. Mm. Yeah. We're spreading yeah. new. So we're basically participating in the development of a new economy. Yeah. Yeah. One of the great sayings in our industry is good leaders have, gu have good vision, but great leaders yeah. give good, great vision. You know, great leaders give great vision. And that's exactly what you're saying. I had some other big connections there as well with Vipassana. I was actually supposed to be on a 10 day silent retreat with, with Vipassana right now, which was canceled due to the current lockdown. Um, but yeah, um, amazing because Vipassana uh, as a system is two and a half thousand years old, purely a meditation system. Um, you know, the Buddha did not create a religion. He created a meditation and a breathing process. And that was all about the transformation, transmutation, transformation of our blocks and, and what's keeping us, you know, small and realizing our potential, aligning with the forces. And yeah. what your your explanation to me has just really enlightened me and opened my brain up to the, the more practical applications and clinical applications in, it, in our body, um, but also to create our future with, with that cleaning the water, cleaning the pool water through the breathing in the morning with the lung. It's just yeah. beautiful, Yoss. That's, that's freaking awesome, man. We need to, because with all this fear around, we need to show people a future. Yeah, yeah. And in order to, to, to show the future, we need to sing deep in. For that, we need a seer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> You're an extraordinary man. I, I always love spending time with you, Yost. I'm super grateful for, for everything that you do in the world. Uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the call, it was years ago that I know Yost had actually supervised over 55,000 cases, uh, both clients and, and uh, as, a, as a lecturer and, and a clinic supervisor. So we're really getting the benefit of an extraordinary amount of clinical experience. Very few practitioners have been able to oversee anywhere near that number, 55,000 cases. And this was like 10 years ago or something. I think that was the facts for you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just, just extraordinary. I'm super grateful for the information you've shared today. Um, any, any parting words of advice or anything before we, uh, we wrap up? Don't buy into the fear, see the future, sink deeply into the sacrum, feel the connection to the forces and then express the energy and drink us here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That is fantastic. Lots of great compliments coming in here. Thanks for your great advice. Legend. Could listen to you all day. Thank you so much for your magnificence. <laughs> so that's amazing, Yoss. You're, you're amazing. Thank you very much, everyone, for being on the call and for likewise having the vision and, and uh, to make it a better world, to be leaders and make an impact out there. Uh, we will post these recordings. And uh, by all means, connect with Yoss. And uh, his treatment is amazing. I absolutely love it. 
Um, I think there are a couple of, actually there are a couple of questions here about combining Chinese herbs at the flyer. Great webinar, no, mainly all just compliments, more compliments coming to you. Um, and we will we'll definitely post the titles of your, your books and so forth and how you can get in touch with Yoss. So thank you Yoss for all you do. Thank you everyone. Go out there and make a big impact today. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.